Good evening. Habari za jioni. Usalama kwaya, we want to thank you. Kwaya itwaye usalama, tunapenda kuwashukuru sana. I think you have you have sung all the songs in the world today. Nadhani meimba nyimbo zenu zote. We want to thank you. Tunapenda kuwashukuru sana. Pasiasi kwaya also we want to thank you. Kwaya pasiasi pia tunawashukuru sana. And I want to thank your pastor, Pastor I want to thank your pastor, the local church. You know, I think he came here not long ago. How long have I, how many years have you been here? One year and eight months. One year, eight months. And before he came, was this structure here? And no, I, I'm just asking. Before he came, was this structure you see? Was it here? <laughs> we want to appreciate your work. I have not said it, but we want to. I have, I have gone through the history. And I want to really thank God on your behalf for the vision that God has given to you. 
Translate that. <laughs> Tunapenda kumshukuru Mungu kwa njozi ya kazi yake katika mtawa wa siasa. You see that is how the church should grow. Hivyo ndivyo kanisa linapaswa kuwa. Anywhere you go you have to put something a mark. Kila unapoenda unapaswa uache alama fulani. Not for yourself but for people to know that the God's money is used wisely. Sio kwa ajili yako lakini watu wajue kwamba fedha ya Mungu inatumika vizuri. And I was asking the church elders. Na nilikuwa nikiwauliza wazee wa kanisa. Do you charge people when they use this place? Na watoza watu wanapotumia eneo hili? I didn't get any answer. The answer is no. But what I'm saying is that you must charge people. Ah, Dr. Kabele, you got that. Oh yes. <laughs> because the place must be maintained. Eneo hili linapaswa kutunzwa. Anything you get free, you don't appreciate. Chochote unachopata bure mara nyingi hukithamini. Do you get me? Anything mna, you get free. Unanielewa chochote unachopata bure. You don't appreciate. Au kithamini. And so I think for the usage you think about it I'm not saying it should be done but you know when you make something like this how do you maintain you need to maintain okay and church members are tired paying money every time washiriki wanalipa fedha kila wakati na hivyo anapendekeza huduma kama hizi mikutano kama hii basi pawe na kitu fulani ka kuchangia gharama za uendeshaji na utunzaji wa mikutano amini wakumbi kama hizi and that is why you take uh, money kidogo kudogo and then to, you can maintain you know i think uh, I think about it i'm not saying i'm not bringing any law here but i feel the place must be maintained yani nadhani ni muhimu anapendekeza ni muhimu kwamba maeneo kama haya kama hii inapotumika kwa gharama fulani kwa ajili ya kufanya marekebisho ya mambo yeah, so thank you so much church members you have done well. Santa you sana washiriki well. wa pasiasi mmefanya vizuri bwana wabariki sana. And uh, I, think, I think it's not finished. You have many other things to do. We'll be bringing 100 boxes of tiles tomorrow. Correct. They are bringing 100 tiles, 100 boxes of tiles tomorrow Ready to tire the, the entire Sunday. place. Congratulations. We We thank God. We thank that. God. We Amen. thank God. You have done well and God will continue to bless this church. Amen. Mungu ataendelea kubariki kanisa hili na kazi yake pia. And try to formulate a policy where the place can be maintained. When people use it, it's a sera fulani ambayo matumizi yake yanapotumiwa basi panakuwa na kitu fulani kwa ajili ya utunzaji. Okay. How many of you know what I'm going to preach about? Wangapi wanajua ninakwenda kuhubiri juu ya nini? This was a uh, a church pastor who went to a Sunday church pastor who went first to the church. Wewe alikuwa ni mchungaji wa makanisa yale ya Jumapili alikwenda kanisani siku yake ya kwanza. And when he went he asked the church members. Alipokwenda akauliza washiriki. How many of you know what I'm going to preach about? Wangapi wanajua nitahubiri nini leo? And uh, every hand he said please if you know put up your hand. Akasema kama unafahamu inua mkono. No hand was up. Hakuna mkono uliokwenda juu. So the pastor said if you don't know I too I don't know. Kama hamjui ninachokwenda kuhubiri na mimi sijui nitahubiri nini. Let's stand and pray. Hebu tusimame tuombe. And so the student pray. Kwa hiyo akasimama kama mlivyosimama. So the congregation stood. Kwa hiyo mkutano ukasimama. And they prayed. Na wakaomba. And the pastor said, "Okay, see you next week." Na mchungaji akasema, "Basi tutaonana Juma lijalo." So the following week, Juma lofuata, the pastor came. Mchungaji akaja. And announced the congregation. Na akauliza tena washiriki wake. But this time the congregation was smart. Uh, safari, congregation, I mean, so he has the same question. How many of you know what I'm going to preach about? Half of them put up their hands. And half their hands were down. And so he said, I'm happy. Those who know, tell those who don't know. <laughs> Let us stand and pray. Hebu tusimame na tuombe. And go home. Na tuende nyumbani. 
And so the third Sunday, Jumapili liofuata, the same pastor came. Chungaji akarudi tena. And so this time the congregation was very smart. Safari hii kusanyiko lake lilikuwa makini. And so he asked, how many of you know what I'm going to preach about? Wangapo wanajua nitahubiri nini? All of them, the, all the hands were up. Everybody. And so he said, if you know, why should I preach? <laughs> Today we have a very serious and interesting topic. And our memory text or our text for concentration and devotion is taken from Luke chapter 23 Luke chapter 23 Luke sura ya 23 verse 47 mstari Luke 23 verse 47 Luka 23 The physician writes Daktari Luka anaandika So when the centurion saw what had happened he glorified God saying Certainly this was a righteous man Is it correct? Luke 23 Verse 47. Israel is different. Luke 23, verse 47. Yeah. This one is different. It's different. Bishop Brown. Some of it Let him Let him check his verse. Luke 23, verse 47. Luke is Shirini na Tatu. Mstari wa arobaini na saba. Yanasema. No, it's the same. Alipokuisha kusema hayo. Alikata roho. Yule ya kida alipoona ilio tukia. Alimtukuza mungu akisema. Hakika yake mtu huyu alikuwa mwenye haki. Certainly. Hakika. This. Certainly, Hakika, this was a righteous man. Huyu mtu alikuwa mwenye haki. Certainly, this was a righteous man. Hakika, huyu mtu alikuwa mwenye haki. Let us pray. Tuombe. Heavenly Father, Baba wa minguni, we don't take this time for granted. Hatuchukui huu wakati kama wakati wa kawaida. You have called us to worship you in truth and in spirit. This is a serious responsibility you have given to us. And as we call upon your name, we invite your presence to be with us. For we pray in Jesus' name. The topic for our meditation is Somo letu jioni ya leo at the foot of the cross. Inasema chini ya msalaba. At the foot of the cross. Chini ya msalaba. And what happens at the foot of the cross? Na kile kinachotokea pale chini ya msalaba. It was an an easy day. Ilikuwa ni siku nyepesi. Ilikuwa sio siku nyepesi sana. He had been uneasy from morning on that Friday. It was not the death that troubled him. Not the many crucifixions he had seen before. In fact, he was no stranger to the many deaths. He was used to the screaming and the hauling of the people who were dying on the cross. Alizoea kuwashika walio kwa wakilia wakati wakisulubewa. And he has cultivated a very strong heart. Na alikuwa metengeneza moyo imara sana. He was used to the foul smell in that place. Alizoea harufu mbaya ya eneo lele. The sight of scavengers. 
ya kuona ndege wanaokula mizoga who visit and devour the flesh wale ndege ambao huja na kula mizoga everything chochote kile he knew alikifahamu but this very friday lakini ijumaa hii this were not as usual mambo hayakuwa kama kawaida he had witnessed the crucifixion of pickpockets alishuhudia wezi wakisulubiwa and hardened criminals na wale majasusi au magaidi wakubwa but on this friday afternoon lakini hii ijumaa mchana it was bad enough to be in judea ilikuwa ni mbaya sana kuwepo judea it was like a hell for him ilikuwa ni kama jehanamu kwake and he hated Na that ali, work alichukia ile kazi this very friday he ijuma half of the crowd shouted nusu ya makutano walipiga kelele half of the crowd cried nusu ya makutano walilia the soldiers hurried up and down wa maskari walienda juu na chini and the priest bossed everybody around na kuhani alijivuna kwa watu waliozunguka it was on friday afternoon ilikuwa ni ijumaa mchana what about this thankless job that i'm doing anasema yeah. kazi ya hovyo kiasi gani hii ninayofanya strange kazi ya ajabu. this friday is strange ijumaa hii ya leo ni ajabu Stranger. Kazi ya ajabu. Am I correct? Is something happening to me on this Friday? Anajiuliza je niko sawa? Hivi kuna kitu kinanitokea Ijumaa hii? I wish the day were over. Natamani siku ingefikia mwisho. He was curious. He was very curious. Alikuwa akijiuliza sana. At the attention given to this particular man juu ya usikivu uliotolewa kwa mtu huyo this particular man around who all these confusions were huyo mtu ambaye anasababisha mchanganyiko au mtafaruku wote huu i'm talking about this centurion ninamzungumzia huyu akida he smiled ali tabasamu when he saw the sign alipoona zile ishara that was written in three languages ambayo iliandikwa kwa lugha tatu to be put as a sign on the cross of this man ikiwekwa kama alama juu ya msalaba wa mtu huyo the man condemned mtu huyo aliyehukumiwa did not look like a king hakuonekana kama mfalme but the inscription reads lakini maelezo pale jesus yalisoma the king of the jews yesu mfalme wa wayahudi this man condemned huyo mtu aliyehukumiwa does not look like a king hafanani kwa mfalme his face was bruised uso wake ulijeruhiwa his back ached mgongo wake uliuma his eyes were downward macho yake yalitazama chini a harmless person mtu asiye na hatia what is happening nini kinatokea what could he have done Je, what did he do? Nini? Alikosa nini? To deserve this. Kustahili hii. A harmless man. Mtu asiye na hatia. He was curious. Alikuwa akijiuliza. Jesus raised his head. Yes, walipoinua kichwa chake. He was not angry. Hakukasirika. In fact, kwa hakika, he wasn't uneasy. Haikuwa rahisi. His eyes were strangely calm. Macho yake yalikuwa na utulivu. When he stared at the people around him. Alipowatazama watu waliomzunguka. He looked at those who knew him. Aliwatazama wale waliomfahamu. Moving deliberately from one face to the other. Wakitembea kuhama kutoka upande mmoja kwenda upande mwingine. As if he had a word for each one of them. Kana kwamba akiwa neno kwa kila mtu. And I want to tell you this evening. Na jioni ya leo Jesus has a word for you. Yesu analo neno kwako. He will not let you go at the foot of the cross. Hata kuache uondoke chini ya msalaba. Yes, Jesus has a word for you today. Ndio Yesu ana neno kwa ajili yako leo. For just a moment. Kwa muda kidogo. He looked at the centurion. Alimtazama yule akida. 
But the centurion became afraid. Na ile akida akaogopa. For the second time, kwa mara ya pili, the centurion looked akida alitazama at the purest eyes he has ever seen. Akayatazama macho safi ambayo hakuwahi kuyaona. And Jesus looked at the centurion again. Na Yesu akamwangalia akida tena. As a centurion didn't know why he was giving him a second look. Na akida hakujua ni kwa nini Yesu alimtazama kwa mara nyingine. It made him afraid after all. Ilimfanya He was aogope. a killer. Akafikiri kwamba yeye yumkini ni muuaji. Jesus is looking at you today. Yesu anakutazama leo. He knows what brought you here. Anajua kile unachotamani kukisikia. And he is looking at you. Na anakutazama. And as the centurion looked, na yule akida alipotazama, he saw the soldiers akawaona maskari dragging him to the ground. Wakimvuta Yesu katika umati wa watu. And something told him na kitu fulani kikaingia mawazo mwake. That it was not going to be an ordinary day. Kwamba haitakuwa siku ya kawaida. Something must happen today. Kitu fulani kitatokea leo. Something must happen. Kitu fulani kitatokea. And as the hours whisked away, na alipokuwa kiondolewa kwa watu. The centurion found himself looking more and more yule at akida, that particular man. Yule akida alijikuta akiangalia zaidi na zaidi kwa yule mtu. Now put on the cross. Sasa akisulubiwa. Between two other criminals. Akiwekwa katikati ya wahalifu wengine wawili. He could not understand. Hakuelewa. The silence the silence utulivu na ukimya of this Nazarene wa mtu huyu wa Nazareth he did not know hakuelewa what to do about his kindness hakujua nini cha kufanya na ukarimu wake hakujua most of all zaidi ya yote the centurion yule akida was perplexed with the darkness alishangazwa na giza the darkness giza he didn't know what to do about the black sky hakujua nini cha kufanya na anga jeusi in a mid afternoon katikati ya mchana nobody could explain it hakuna ambaye angeweza kuielezea in fact none of them try to explain it kwa hakika hakuna hata aliyethubutu kueleza one minute the sun muda kidogo jua the next darkness muda unaofuata giza one minute the heat muda kidogo joto the next a chilly breeze muda unaofuata kabaridi even the priest could not understand hata makuhani hawakuelewa for a long time kwa muda mrefu the centurion sat on a rock yule akida alikaa juu ya mwamba and stared at the three bodies hanging na kaitazama miili mitatu kininginia msalabani their heads were bowed vichwa vyao vilinama and occasionally roaring from side to side na mara kwa mara wakiyumba kutoka upande mmoja kwenda upande mwingine all of a sudden ghafla the shouting stopped kelele zikaanza those who were crying waited wale waliokuwa wakilia wakasubiri and suddenly na ghafla the center head dropped kichwa cha mtu wa katikati kikainama his eyes opened in a flash macho yake yakafumbuka then the words came na kisha maneno yakatoka it is finished imekwisha it was not a shout haikuwa kelele it wasn't a scream haikuwa kilio The centurion stood up yule akida akasimama from the rock kutoka katika ule mwamba a few paces towards the nazarene akatembea hatua chache kwenda kwa yule mnazarai and as he got closer na alipokaribia he could see aliweza kuona that jesus was staring in the sky Yesu alikuwa akisimama katika anga. There was something in the eyes. Kulikuwa na kitu fulani katika macho yake. That the soldier had never seen. Ambacho yule akida hakuwahi kukiona. But after a few steps. Baada ya hatua chache. The centurion fell down. Yule akida akaanguka chini. 
He stood up again. Akainuka tena. And fell down again. Akaanguka kwa mara nyingine. And you ask me why? Na mimi ninajiuliza ni kwa nini? The ground was shaken. Yeah, umatu ulikuwa ukitikisika. The ground was shaken. Ardhi inatikisika. Gently at first kwa mara ya kwanza kwa tulivu violently later lakini ilivyoendelea ikatikisika zaidi he tried again to walk akajaribu kutembea tena and he fell again akaanguka tena he could not move hakuweza kusogea and as he tried to walk again alipojaribu kutembea he came closer to the, the cross akakaribia ule msalaba and just at the foot of the cross na akiwa chini ya msalaba he fell down akaanguka at the foot of the cross chini ya msalaba at the foot of the cross chini ya msalaba he looked up into the face of this one man akainua macho akatazama uso wa huyu mtu mmoja and this eyes looked at the fearful centurion na macho ya kristo yakamuona huyu akida aliyejawa na hofu his hands were nailed mikono yake imesulubiwa imepigwa misumari so he could not touch him na kwa hiyo hakuweza kumgusa His feet were nailed. Miguu yake imegongwa misumari. He could not walk. Hakuweza kutembea. Towards the centurion. Kumwelekea akida. His head was heavy with pain. Kichwa chake kilijawa maumivu. He could hardly move it. Hakuweza kusogea. But the eyes were like fire. Lakini macho yake yalikuwa kama moto. They were the eyes of God. Ilikuwa ni macho ya Mungu. Later Badai, the centurion confessed akida akakiri that he saw the eyes of god himself samba ameona macho ya yesu ya mungu mwenyewe the same eyes macho yale yale the same eyes macho yale yale that has seen almost everybody on earth yale yokuisha kumuona karibu kila mtu duniani when he was healing teaching and preaching alipokuwa akifundisha kuponya na kuhubiri the same eyes macho yale yale that saw yaliyoona the almost naked adorator yaliyomuona yule mzinzi akiwa huchi the same eyes macho yale yale that saw the friendless divorcee in samaria at the well yaliyomuona yule mwanamke katika kisima kule samaria the same eyes macho yale yale that saw lazarus Yaliyomuona Lazaro coming from the tomb akitoka kaburini the same eyes. macho yale yale The same eyes are looking at you macho yale yale yana The same eyes are looking at you macho yale yale yana The same eyes are looking at you macho yale yale yana The same eyes macho yale yale The same eyes macho yale yale That didn't close upon seeing man's failure. Macho ambayo hayakufunga kwa sababu ya mwanadamu kushindwa dhambini. At the same eyes. Ni macho yale yale. That did not turn away from your failure. Ambayo hayakugeuka na kukuacha katika kushindwa kwako. The same same eyes. Macho yale yale. The same eyes. Macho yale yale. The centurion said to himself, Yule akida akajisemea moyoni. This man, mtu huyu, was alikuwa no ordinary carpenter. Hakuwa seremala wa kawaida. This man, mtu huyu, was no ordinary peasant. Hakuwa mfanyakazi wa kawaida. This man, mtu huyu, was no normal human being. Hakuwa mtu wa kawaida. No normal prophet. Hakuwa nabii wa kawaida. Not a normal teacher. Hakuwa mwalimu wa kawaida. Not a normal preacher. Sio mhubiri wa kawaida. Not a normal healer. Sio mponyaji wa kawaida. This man. Mtu huyu. Not just a human being. Sio tu mwanadamu. This man. Mtu huyu.
he slew, he stood Alisimama. and looked at the rocks that had fallen and the sky na anga that had blackened. He turned Aligeuka. and stared at the soldiers Akawatazama as they stared at Jesus with frozen faces. Na nyuso zilizo ganda. He turned Akageuka. and watched the eyes of Jesus. Akayangalia macho ya Yesu. And he saw his eyes Na macho yake. trying to move towards home. His home. His home. Wingu, kana his home. Nyumbani kwake. He listened as the parched lips Akisikiliza Maneno kutoka kwa ndimi za Kristo. Parted. Parted. The lips parted. Ndimi zikia chana. And he saw the swollen tongue inside. Haka wana ulimi ulio vimba kinyuani mwake. And the lips spoke for the last time. Na ndimi zika tamuka kwa mara ya mwesho. Father. Baba. Into your hands. Mikononi mwako. I commit my spirit. Na iweka roho yangu. Father, Baba, into your hands. Mikononi mwako. I commit my spirit. Ninaiweka roho yangu. And the centurion exclaimed. Na yule akida akatamka. Surely. Hakika. Surely. Hakika. This man. Huyu mtu. Was the son of God. Kuwa mwana wa Mungu. Jesus. Yesu. Is the son of God. Ni mwana wa Mungu. He is Dio ni mwana wa Mungu. However you take him. Vyovyote vile utakavyomchukua. As a prophet, kama nabii, as a teacher, kama mwalimu, as a healer, kama mponyaji, whatever. Vyovyote vile. He is the son of God. Yeye yeah, ni mwana wa Mungu. All this happened. Yote haya yanatokea. Within 6 hours on that friday and these six hours na haya masaa sita hand man's salvation yale beba wokovu wa mwanadamu these six hours masaa haya sita hand your salvation yale kupatia wewe wokovu na wokovu wangu and the centurion noticed that na kida aliliona hilo Six hours. Saa sita. Meant a lot. Yali maanisha kitu kikubwa sana. For the life blackened with failure. Maisha liyo jawa na kushinda. The six hours were important. Saa sita yali kuwa ya muhimu. The six hours mattered Masa for forgiveness. Saa sita yali kuwa muhimu sana. For the heart that has no life. Kwa moyo usio na uhai. It means a purpose of life. Ilileta matumaini ya maisha. A life without purpose. Na maisha ya sio kuwa na kusudi. Those six hours. Yale masaa sita. Means purpose of life. Ilileta makusudi ya maisha hayo. And for the souls looking Na kwa roho zilizo kuwa zikitazama. And to this side of life. Itamua upande wao wa maisha. The life of death. Maisha ya kifo. It means deliverance. The sex Inamanisha hour. wokovu yale masaa sita yale manisha wokovu. Hours of deliverance. Masaa ya kukombolewa. The cross. Salaba. The cross. Salaba. Has given us salvation. Say amen. Ume tupatia wokovu. Sema amina. The cross. Salaba. Has given you and I. Ume tupatia wewe na mimi. Salvation. Wokovu. For the discouraged person. Kwa like you and I. Kwa mtu alie kata tamaa kama wewe na mimi. It is hope. Kuna tumaini. It is hope. 
Hakuna tumaini. Think about the cross. It is hope. Fikiria juu ya msalaba unaleta tumaini. If you are discouraged. Kama umekata tamaa. For the fearful. Kwa wale walio na hofu. It is comfort. Inaleta faraja. It is comfort. Inaleta faraja. For the one who is about to give up. Kwa yule ambaye anaelekea kuacha kila kitu. It tells you to stay on. Inakwambia endelea, 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 endelea. Don't give up. Oh si kate tamaa. The cross. Salaba. Look at it. Utazame msalaba. It's not an ordinary sign. Sio ishara ya kawaida. It is the sign of God. Ni mwana wa Mungu. The sign for your salvation. Mwana kwa ajili ya wokovu. The sign for your comfort. Mwana kwa ajili ya faraja yako. The sign for your hope. Mwana kwa ajili ya tumaini lako. At the foot of the cross. Chini ya msalaba. You find hope. Unapata tumaini. You find salvation. Unapata wokovu. Just at the foot of the cross. Pale chini ya msalaba. Don't give up. Jesus died for you. Yesu alikufa kwa ajili yako. The centurion yule akida shouted akapaza sauti. He is not an ordinary person. Si mtu wa kawaida. He is not. Si mtu wa kawaida. And I will say what he has promised to do, he will na kile alichoahidi kukitenda for the one contemplating on suicide yule anayewaza kujinyonga i want to tell you nataka kukwambia be patient vumilia be patient vumilia he has not done with you yet hajamaliza na wewe bado don't rush usiharakishi Hold on to him. Mshikilie. Come to the foot of the cross. Jo chini ya msalaba. Only believe. Wewe amini. As the centurion did. Kama yule akida. Don't give up. Skate tamaa. Don't give up. Hold on. Hold on. I plead with you. Hold on. The challenges you are going through. Challenges that have become problems. Changamoto ambazo zimegeuka kuwa matatizo. And you tell yourself. Na unapojitazama. Enough is enough. Unasema imetosha. Hold on. Endelea kumshikilia. He has not finished with you yet. Hajamaliza na wewe bado. His eyes are upon you. Macho yake yanakutazama. There is no tear on your bed that he does not see. Hakuna machozi ambayo hayaoni. There's no pain that he cannot feel. Hakuna maumivu asiyo yahisi. Hold on. Endelea kushikilia. Hold on. Endelea kushikilia. Kwaya, hold on. Kwaya, endelea kushikilia. Hold on. Endelea kushikilia. I know the pains you may be going through in your homes. Sijui ni matatizo gani unapitia kule nyumbani kwako. There are some people. Kuna watu. Who drink water and sleep? ambao wanakunywa maji na kunywa. endelea kushikilia When God wants to act Mungu anapotaka kutenda And when you give him the chance to act anapokupatia nafasi na wewe utende The water you have been drinking maji ambayo umekuwa ukinywa will be grape juice every morning itakuwa juice ya zabibu kila asubuhi it will itakuwa hivyo the son and the daughter 
who have gone away from you. One day you will be seated in your room and you see him or her. The mom, dad, I bought a TV for you. And you wonder and that is when you say, indeed, I have a savior. Indeed, I have a savior. What I'm telling you this evening is to come to the foot of the cross. Where there is hope. Where there is salvation. Ambapo upo wakovu. Where there is comfort. Ambapo ipo faraja. Come to the foot of the cross. Jo chini ya msalaba. Those who are doubting. Wale waliona mashaka. That this would never work. Kwamba hii haitafanya kazi. The cross says believe. Salaba unasema amini. Believe. Amini. Believe. Amini. That God is working on your behalf. Kamba Mungu anatenda kwa niaba yako. Those who are suffering re- from relationships. Wale ambao wanaumia kwa sababu ya mahusiano. Don't give up. Skate tamaa. Continue to notice the cross. Endelea kutazama msalaba. And come to the foot of the cross. And jo chini ya msalaba. And that will turn around. Na hiyo it will turn around. Itabadilisha. And you say thank you Jesus. Na wewe utasema asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. At the foot of the cross. Chini ya msalaba. Everything is found. Kila kitu at the foot of the cross. Chini ya msalaba. Today. Leo. I have called all of you. I have called all of you. Nina waita wote. With deep meditation. Kutafakari kwa kina. To enumerate. Enumerate what is really disturbing you. Kuangalia ni nini hasa kina kusumbua. Even as some of you have put in the box. Na najua kuna ambao wameweka katika sanduku lile la maombi. I know. Najua. Everyone has a challenge or challenges. Kila mmoja ana changamoto. And we cannot come like this. Hatuwezi kuja kama hivi. And go away. Na kuondoka. Feeling that everything is okay. Kufikiri kwamba kila kitu kiko sawa. We need to recommit our lives to Jesus. Tunahitaji kuyaweka maisha yetu upya kwa Yesu. We need to come to the foot of the cross. Tunahitaji kuja chini ya msalaba. We need to recognize. Tunahitaji kutambua. Like the centurion. Kama yule akida. That we are in the presence of the Lord. Kwamba tupo mbele za uwepo wa Bwana. Who can do everything? Yeye awezaye kufanya kila kitu. And trust. Na kuamini. That he will. Naamini ya kwamba atafanya. He will. Atafanya. Only trust. Wewe amini tu. Obey. Na ukatii. The centurion. Yule akida. A person. Mtu yule. Killing Mwaji. watching people killed akitazama watu people wakiwa. crucified watu wakisulubi watching all what happened akitazama yote yaliyokuwa kitokea cool as claim alitangaza indeed hakika this is the son of god huyu ni mwana wa mungu do you recognize him as the son of god cheo namtambua kama mwana wa mungu do you believe Je, that he can take away your burdens? Kwamba uweza kuibeba mizigo yako. 
Do you believe that he died for you and me? Do you believe that you can bring all your burdens to him? My brother, my sister, he has not done with you yet. Be patient. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't give up. At the foot of the cross, he takes away everything. Tells you that you are my son. Wewe ni you are my daughter. Wewe ni binti yangu. When the challenges come, turn to the foot of the cross. Geukia, chini ya Where the centurion Yule Akida, who was supervising my death found salvation. At this time, I will ask you the union, the union health director to please bring the box for us. Yule mkurugenzi wa union kutuletea lile sanduku. Thank you. Sante. The second step, I would like to invite all the ordained ministers. Please, if you can, please come here. All the ordained ministers. If you can, please, can you join us up here? All the ordained ministers. If you can, Please come and be with us here. Please, you can lie down near there. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Now, Sasa. my delegates, Wajumbe. we are here to study at the same time. We are here for a serious business with our God. You have put your request here. And as I always say, Na kama sema, every face has a story to tell. Kila uso una kisa and now, I would like you if you believe in this exercise kama una juu ya zuezi hile, to rise kuinuke, and the second step na ya pia, is to come up front you can still, you still have the chance to put something. If you believe that God can, whether you have something here or not, and you feel that God, I have my challenges, and from here, Na I want you to give me peace. Peace that surpasses all human understanding. Please come and be with us. Come. God is able. Mungu he has never failed. He has never failed. And he will no. never Hawezi fail. Kushindwa kama. He will never fail. Hawezi kushindwa kama. Thank you for coming. If you believe kama unaamini, that your request will be answered, kwamba ombi lako if you believe that God will take care of your challenges, kama unaamini, kwamba mungu na changamoto zako, please show your hand. Indeed, 
you believe. Hakika Indeed you believe. Hakika Indeed you believe. Hakika Please put your hand down. I will request South Nyanza Conference President, uh, Mara Conference President, to pray in Swahili for us. Please, Please commit everything. Time is not a problem. And then after that, after that, I will also pray and say the grace. Our Father and our God. Mungu wa mani muumba mbingu dunia na vyote vilivyomo. Mungu wa neema yote. Wewe uliemtoa rafiki yetu Yesu akafa kwa ajili yetu. Jina lako litukuzwe sana. Tumekuja mbele zako baba kama tulivyo. Na hapa mbele tumenyosha mikono kwa imani. Tukijua kila moja wetu ana jambo fulani ambalo anahitaji umtendee katika maisha yake. Na hiyo haikutosha baba. Tumeisikia sauti yako ya kwamba tupige hatua kuja mbele na tumesogea kwa imani. Na hiyo haikutosha Mungu. Bado ndani ya boksi hili ya mama ombi ya wana na binti zako ambao wameweka ndani ya boksi hili. Haijatosha baba. Bado kuna maombi ndani ya mio ya kila moja wetu. Na yote haya baba, tuneasogeza mbele ya kiti chako cha enzi. Ya kwamba mungu pokea maombi yetu jioni ya leo. Pokea maombi ya kila moja. Zipo duwa mbali mbali tumeomba. Tunakusihi katika mishu ya mikutano hii. Tunaporudi, turuli tukua tunashangilia. Na hivyo tendea watu wako wengine wamekuja wakiwa ni wagonjwa katika mili yao nyosha mkono wako wa baraka watu wako wapone kwa jina la Yesu wengine baba ni wagonjwa katika roho zetu tuponye kila moja wetu na mikutano hii iwe na tija kwa kila moja wetu e baba tumeamini kwamba we ni mwana wa Mungu tutendee kama tukavyoona vema maana tumeomba katika jina la Yesu wale mwokozi wetu amina our Father and our God, the great I am. When you open the door, nobody can close. And when you decide to close it, nobody opens. You are the beginning, you are the end. Alpha and Omega. Holy Father God, even we are afraid to mention your name, Yahweh, because you are the creator of the universe. And we have promised as your children to serve you. To bring all our challenges and problems to you. Because you are able. Amen. There is nothing we have given to you and you have said, no, I can't do it. If you cannot do, no one else can do. And that is why you are children this evening. They have respected you. They have appreciated you. They have commended you. And they have brought all their requests in this box. Some could not have the opportunity, dear Lord, you know. Some could not come, dear Lord, you know. But you know where it aches. Holy Father, please, after this meeting, show yourself to your children. Those who came without jobs, provide. 
Because you can. Those who are disturbed in their marriage, please, and relationships, please straighten everything. Because you can. Those who have children disturbing them at home, please give them peace and correct their children. God, you can. Those who are facing financial problems, we don't want you to make them rich. But Lord, we want you to provide for their daily needs. Lord, you can. Those who are searching for partners, they have tried and failed. Search for them because you can. Amen. Those whose businesses are failing and they are crying, Lord, where will I get my tithe and offering? Please provide because you can. Amen. Those who are sick, terminal, ordinary, Holy Father God, touch them because you can. The miracles of old still happen. And we believe that it will happen. Amen. Those who are tormented by evil spirits, Holy Father God, fill them spiritually because Amen. you can. Amen. Give everyone here peace. And not any ordinary peace, but a peace that surpasses all human explanation. That you may have, be having challenges, but you are at peace with you because you are with us. And for the days we have spent here, we thank you. Please, anyone who is disturbed and thinking, how do I go back home? There is a problem at home. How do I go through this? Holy Father God, give that person peace tonight. Amen. That it, there is peace at home. There is peace at home. And Lord, when we have this peace then we can serve you better. We can worship you. Where we have doubted you, Lord, forgive us. And now that we have come to the foot of the cross, dear Lord, we come with everything. Fill our hearts. Change us. Take away our iniquities. And fill us with the Holy Spirit to trust you even more. For our facilitators who are spending their time here, be with them, be with your families and bless them. Amen. Because you have said that if you do my business, I will do your business. Mm. And we believe this. And when this Congress ends, may each person depart from this place with peace. Bless the local church. Bless the district pastor, the elders, mm. all the members. Amen. Thank you for the work they are doing for you. Amen. Please don't forget them in your kingdom. And now, Lord, we submit our lives into your hands because we are going away from this place with peace, knowing well that we have laid our burdens at your feet Amen. and that you are looking at them and you fulfill our desires. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. And let all of you shout, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Tabii